Join us for a time of devotion as we take the word of God and apply it to our lives. Open your ears so you will hear what the Father has to say to you. You are invited to join Pastor Fuller for Standing Firm Devotion. Each weekday morning, you have the opportunity to spend time in the Word for a few minutes to gain inspiration for your day. Through this special time, Pastor Fuller desires to speak simply, shortly, and with substance to aid you in being the disciple God has called you to be. Come, take a stand on the solid rock and plant your feet in the Word that will help you stand firm for Him. Standing Firm Devotion is live each weekday morning at 9 a.m. on Facebook at Dr. J. W. Fuller. Thank you for joining me in our Standing Firm devotions. It's a joy to be able to share these vlogs as well as these podcasts with you. The podcast is, an, is audio. The vlog, of course, is video. And you can choose between either one. They'll give you an opportunity to learn a little more about the subjects that we're sharing in our morning devotions at 9 o'clock live on Dr. Jeff Fuller at Facebook. I would love for you to join me each morning at 9 o'clock during the week, but I look forward to joining with you here. As thank you so much for joining me. I pray that you're inspired, and I pray that you're encouraged, and I pray that you'll grow in your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. This is Pastor Fuller, and thank you for joining me. We started yesterday talking about the basics, getting back to the basics. Um, I want to share with you about the basic, the very basic, where we start. And we start with uh, an examination of, of who we are, who we belong to. Are we really confirming that we belong to Jesus. Revelation chapter 3 verse 15 says, I know your works, that you're neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were cold or hot. So because you're lukewarm and you're neither cold nor hot, I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say I am rich, wealthy, and I have need of nothing. But what you don't know is that you're wretched, you're pitiful, you're poor, you're blind, you're naked. Not hot, not cold, but lukewarm. The problem is that this is the middle of the road. The problem is is that this is a standing on the fence. It's a place of inactivity. It's a place of indecision. You cannot serve God and serve two masters. You, you can't do it. It's impossible. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve God and serve the other, and it's, it's wrong. We, we, we have to make a choice. We have to make a decision. Are, are we going to walk with Christ or are we not? You can't have it both ways. If we're a believer, others are looking at us for the best example of a Christian. And I have to constantly ask myself, am, am, I, am, I that kind of, am I that kind of example? Someone might say that you, or someone has said that you may be the only Bible some will ever read. So if you're lukewarm, what type of impact are you making for the message of Christ? And as I said, we're going back to the basics. Going back to the basics means three things. In this area, it means knowing, confessing, living that Jesus Christ loved you enough to die on the cross for you so that you might have abundant, abundant life. Knowing and confessing Jesus Christ, both privately and publicly, 
being willing to tell others that he died for you so that you might have abundant life. I have come that they might have life. Secondly, be assured. Be assured that this salvation is yours. It's free and clear. There are no promissory notes. For my grace, or excuse me, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So first we know, we proclaim, we confess, and we live out that Jesus Christ died for us. Secondly, we are assured in our spirit, in our being, in our Holy, in the Holy Spirit living within us, we're assured that we have eternal life, that we have that salvation. And thirdly, lastly, we live that life that God intends us to live. That life. This is how we're sure that we've come to know Him by keeping His commands. You'll recognize them, the scripture says, by their fruits. That's 1 John 2 3 and Matthew 7 16. So the true evidence of a Christian is a changed lifestyle. The true evidence of a Christian, basic, very basic, is a changed lifestyle. And that change is coming gradually. It doesn't come overnight. So if you were saved yesterday, doesn't mean that you're perfect today. By the way, you won't be this side of heaven. But each day we're striving to be more like Christ and less like us. Again, we starve. We starve the old man. We feed the new man. We want the old man to die. We want the new man to live. Father, Father, I thank you for this day and for the opportunities that we've had to share together. Now, Lord, I pray that we'll show that we belong to you. That, Lord, we will confess and com and proclaim that you are Lord of our lives. That you have saved us. And, Father, for that one that may be listening that doesn't know you as Savior, I pray, Lord, they'll reach out to someone, a believer, who will share with them the hope of Jesus Christ. May you be... May you be glorified today. And Lord, may we become less so that you might become greater. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us today, and we pray these devotions are helpful, encouraging, inspiring, and nourishment to the soul. Join us again here on this YouTube channel for more episodes in this series and take time to listen to the other series as they are added to the channel. Join Pastor Fuller for the weekday devotions at 9 a.m. on his Facebook page. Let's surrender to stand firm on the solid rock of Jesus Christ, until we meet again.